The city of Madison is facing a big budget shortfall for the next year. Typically, city leaders don't start public meetings on the budget until late summer and early fall, but that process is kicking off much earlier this year because alders have to figure out how to make up a $27 million gap. That's equivalent to all the funding the streets division got in this year's budget. One way to close the budget gap is to cut spending. That means fewer jobs and reduced services. The Finance Department reports Madison would need to cut more than 270 jobs to make up the $27 million gap. That's about 10% of all city positions. But Madison can't cut jobs in the police and fire departments without losing more money from the state. So if you exclude those two departments, cutting 270 jobs means about one in every five city workers would be laid off. Another option to lessen the budget shortfall is raising property taxes. To make up $27 million, the yearly tax bill for the average value home would go up by $284. But that's not a choice city leaders can make on their own. Voters would have to approve a referendum to increase taxes that much. Many alders have said they'll likely take a combination approach of cutting spending and raising revenue. This is a live look at the city county building in downtown Madison. In less than two hours, Common Council will meet there to hear from the finance department about the options on the table. And then in three weeks, alders will start having public discussions about what they're going to do.